Welp, we got robbed. So what did that look like? What happened and what did we lose? So yesterday morning I got here just before seven and the first thing I noticed was shattered glass and glass covering our floor. And when I opened the door, I looked around and it didn't look like much had happened. I was like, man, some people just vandalized us. The main bullpen that had a lot of our expensive lights and everything on stands, nothing was touched. They didn't touch tripods, they didn't touch anything. After looking through the bullpen, I went over to my office that has its own lock on it and they had kicked in the door. And that's when I knew something was wrong. They knew exactly what they were going for. They grabbed our two travel Pelican cases and they also grabbed our camera backpack. This basically had all of our main cameras and lenses. Honestly, today I'm more grateful than I am angry. Um, I feel like God really blessed me yesterday with not being angry, but just being in a place of gratitude. And a lot of that gratitude stems from what they didn't steal. They didn't steal any of our hard drives or our computers. And for us, we have backup hard drives at our house down the street. That way, if there's a fire or anything, we have a copy that's not gonna get stolen or burned or whatever it is. What we aren't hyper vigilant about is actually backing up the Premiere file or the After Effects files or all the little things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. It's more raw footage. So if all that was stolen or lost, we'd then be pretty far back on a lot of our edits, which is not a good place to be. So learning point number one is the importance of backing up your footage and all of your projects. The second thing I wanna share with you is you need to have insurance. You need to insure your gear. We've never used it in our decade plus of having a photography business and then a video production company, but it looks like it's at least 20 to $25,000 worth of equipment that we lost. Most of us don't have that ability to just go replace that if we don't have money saved up or insurance. But the insurance process, we're just starting in it. I may have to make a full video about that afterwards to see how easy it was or how painful it was. What we do know already, and another tip for you is, you need to be organized with your actual receipts and your equipment gear, where you bought it from. Another thing we learned is we have a studio and we've always been pretty cautious with it, but we didn't put any real security measures. We have no cameras, there's no security system. We have normal locks on the doors, but apparently you throw one rock and you're in. And so we are trying to now actively think through what are some of those systems that we can put in place, buying some camera systems, potentially paying for security, and then having even more secure areas to secure hard drives specifically, but your most expensive equipment. Another thing we did is yesterday on our Instagram, we shared a story about being robbed. And number one, I was just encouraged by how many people reached out to just apologize and share their condolences for what happened. But it showed the importance of having a strong creative network. I've been working really hard over the past couple years to build relationships with other creatives in this creative industry, in the video production world. And I had at least three or four people reach out telling me, hey, if you need a camera, if you need any equipment in this interim period, please let us know and we'll definitely just let you use it. And that's encouraging. It can get so expensive to rent all this equipment. And I already had to postpone one shoot that we have scheduled for tomorrow but I don't know how long this process will take with insurance. And so just to have some of those things to save money will be a blessing. So wrapping this up, why should you care? Like, I'm not looking for any sorrow from you guys. I'm not hoping that any of you, you know, feel bad or anything like that. Ultimately, my hope for all of you is that you never have to go through one of these situations where you lose your livelihood, your equipment and all that. And hopefully some of these tips will just help you to be prepared. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.